Hello Vikings, I'm Haley Brandstetter. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Lexi caught up with the students to get their opinions on the new school schedule. I interviewed a teacher and a student on how their back to school is going so far. So far, it is going pretty good. I have had a little bit of extra stress just because there's quite a bit of extra planning because it's almost like teaching double. Um, so it's kind of like pull the workload. And I added a new class, which is cool, but um, a little bit stressful. But still good. I'm glad to be back. So far, I'd say it's pretty well. It seems to be pretty steady and constant, but it's definitely different than last year. I think that the hybrid schedule is good because it keeps people safer, but... As for a teacher, it is a lot more work, and it's kind of awkward because some of my students are really awkward online, and I'm, like, trying to talk to them and trying to talk to the kids in class. So sometimes it can be a little bit awkward, but I'm working on that. I think the only part I really like about it are the Wednesdays and how they're self-paced and, like, big, long study hall and time to catch up on your assignments. But other than that, I don't like being at home three days a week and only having class in school once a week. The internet working, um, for one. And then I think that it could be really helpful if we had some sort of microphone or camera that could attach to the teacher so that I don't have to drag my laptop everywhere so kids can hear me from wherever I am in the room. I think that if they somehow changed up the schedule or the way they do online classes, that would be great if they changed so we didn't have to be in class on our computers the entire time, so we wouldn't have to be on our computers all day, every day. Both of them had some pretty good input about this new schedule. Tonight's soccer match at Blue Valley will be live-streamed. The game begins at 7. On Monday evening, the Viking JV and freshman football team traveled to Topeka West. Freshmen won 34-18. JV won 59-0. Congratulations to the girls JV tennis team on their second place team finish on Monday's city game. Viking Brew is doing a new promotion. Every time you buy a 20 ounce drink, you can enter your name and guess how much candy is in a bucket. The closest person to the number will win the bucket. Announcements on winner will be October 31st. Now to Zoe for the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. These cooler temperatures are going to be sticking around for a couple more weeks, but we are expecting some 70s in the mix. As you can see, by 3 o'clock today, we are seeing our temperature reach up into the 71 area. Now, this is just one example of our temperatures getting back up into the 70s for a couple days. For your SBTV 7 day forecast, as I said earlier, our temperatures are going to be reaching up into the 70s for the next couple of days, and then we're going to drop back down to the 60s, even the 50s, by the end of this weekend. Now back to your anchor. That's all for today, Mike. <laughs>